using the iPhone and Android application Snapseed. I'm going to show you how to use the HDR functionality to go from this kind of image to this kind of image. Coming up. <laughs> Activity. Uh, so I have with me here the uh, the Snapseed application. Going back to this, I did a, uh, a video on how to use the Curves Adjustment Tool. Uh, but for this example, uh, I wanted to for this uh, tutorial, I wanted to go through uh, the the HDR tool that comes with Snapseed. Now there's a number of different ways that you can get capture HDR images. You can use Snapseed, the iPhone has its own built-in HDR functionality and there are other applications like HDR Pro uh, that allow you to do it as well uh, but the Snapseed uh, tool within that application is actually pretty good so the question is what is HDR photography well again I'm not going to go into too many details too many technical details HDR stands for high dynamic range and essentially what it does is, is you capture an image you can use either one image or you can use a combination of images and basically what you're doing is is you're kind of opening up all the detail within that photo a lot of times if you see and you can kind of see the photo here uh, that i have on the screen that i'm going to be working with you can see the trees there in the foreground yeah there's not much detail there it's a little dark uh, and then there's areas uh, in the sky, in the clouds, where it's re really bright. And so some of the detail there is a little bit blown out. And so what HDR does is it allows you to take the details and values in all those little areas and kind of uh, show them off all at once. Uh, if you want to see some terrific HDR photography, uh, uh, go ahead and uh, you know Google Trey Ratcliffe. I'll put some of the information down there in the video description. But Trey Ratcliffe is one of the premier HDR photographers in the world, and really does an amazing job. Now, granted, too, he's remember he's using DSLR equipment, so the options that he has are, are a lot more, and than what you'll have on a phone. But it's still it, it, it's terrific to look at, and you can still get some. You can use. Uh, you know the application. I think Snapseed's HDR app is really good, and the best part is that a lot of times you can go with the defaults. You know, a lot of times with these filters, you, you want to adjust it, but the defaults that Snapseed has are actually pretty good. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the editing tool, and I'm going to slide down. And you'll see HDR scape, all right, and I'm going to go ahead and tap on that, and automatically you could see how the image changes just just by opening up. Uh, you know, just by doing it right away, you can see, remember those trees I talked about in the foreground, look, all of a sudden now there's detail in those trees. So, and you can see the sky where some of the light was blown out a little bit before. Now you can see it a little bit better. And so, you know, this is actually kind of decent just as it is, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a little bit of changes to it. So if you look down here at the, at the bottom, you have your uh, on the left hand side are your sliders so you could say you know you have the filter strength you have the brightness and you have your saturation uh, there's also some presets so right now this is nature if I go over and go on people there's a little bit of a subtle change if I make it fine it kind of it, then now it goes into this area where it really kind of opens things up and at this point some people like this effect I think it gets to be a little bit too surreal um, and even though this says strong, it's actually a little bit, I think, lighter than the previous one. Uh, usually, I just kind of stick with uh, the nature one, and then I adjust as necessary. So if, I, if we kind of pull this filter strength up, and you know, now we're at like 92, uh, it starts looking a little, little overdone. So I'm going to bring this back a little bit. Uh, it starts out at 50. Uh, I'm going to kind of go a little bit higher than that. I'm going to say around 70 and just kind of experiment with it. Go back and forth and adjust. Uh, I'm also going to bump up the saturation. I want to get the color a little bit brighter in here. Kind of really enhance those colors. And you can see in the sky, you know, the colors really come out. And you can see in the cars with the, with the, uh, the lights and the traffic really stand out as well. And I will probably make it just a little bit brighter. Now, one of the things that about H HDR that uh, sometimes it, it bugs me a little bit is the HDR functionality. You, you kind of lose some of the contrast 
uh, that is in the photo. So experiment with it, but don't uh, think that once you're done in the HDR side of it, you can't adjust it elsewhere. And that's usually what I do. Uh, so, you know, again, play with these tools. There's not a lot of them here, but go ahead and experiment. Find out what works best for you. You may like a very surreal looking image and some people like that. I don't necessarily do it. It's completely up to you. It's up to your taste and what people like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, okay, I like the way that looks, but I do want to get some more contrast in there. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to our uh, tune image tools. And then I'm just going to go to the contrast slider and just bump up that contrast a little bit. See, so now I've got a little bit darker. If I bring the contrast back down to zero, it's a little flat. Everything's kind of open, but I do want to kind of add a little bit more contrast to the image. And so we'll go ahead and put a check mark on there. And as you can see, this image really has transformed. Let's go back to what it originally looked like. A decent image, but it's kind of flat. Uh, you know, the trees there in the foreground look a little dark. The sky is just like you could see there's some dramatic uh, images, some dr drama going on there, but you really can't see it. And the colors are a little bit flat as well. Now, I could bump the colors up in this, but is that really going to work? No. So this is why this image works for HDR. And you can see now you have all this detail, from all the different buildings down to the cars, the road, the street. That's what HDR does. It opens up all those spots. And, you know, in an image like this where you have like a sunset or a sunrise and there's contrasting colors, it's going to work pretty well. Again, this is not going to do you very good if you if you have a bright blue sky or if it's, you know, a very bright image to start with or even a very dark image to start with. You're just going to wind up having a mess. Uh, so choose the images that you do it carefully because some are going to look a whole lot better than others. Um, you know, but again, we'll take a look at it where it starts out and you can see it really is a major difference and it just it creates a more pleasing image and you know don't let anybody get you down about doing this saying you know you're totally manipulating the photo that's what post-processing is part of the photographic process overall okay so don't ever sit there and think that what you're doing is wrong okay if you've seen some of the most famous photographers of all time <laughs> Ansel Adams uh, you know, the photos that he has that you see in his books that, you know, that's not the image that he got right out of the camera, okay? These are images that he worked on through the uh, processing of the negative all the way through to how he did his prints. And essentially, all your phone has become is a portable studio. So go ahead and do what you want. Get it out there. You know, create the photos. Have fun with it. Share them and let everybody else know. All right, so that's going to do it for the HDR um, tutorial here. If you got any questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if you want, please go to uh, mobilepixel.co slash sign up and you'll get, you know, these are videos, but sometimes I do regular text posts. And if you want to get that information, uh, you know, you can sign up for that. And, you know, I'm, I promise you, you're not going to get spam from me. It's just going to be, you know, at most one email a day sometimes every other couple of days. If you have any questions, again, leave them for me. If you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, you know, a lot of times, you know, somebody might have a great suggestion. Leave that in the comments as well. And, um, you know, that'd be great to see. And, you know, I'd like, like to see, you know, go ahead and uh, uh, send me your photos. Go to a comment section on the blog post that'll be here and, and post the link to the images that you've created that are HDR. I'd love to see those as well. All right. So that's going to do it uh, for me next time. Uh, we will see you next time here on Mobile Pixel helping you ignite your mobile creativity. See ya.